Okay, since everybody seems to be doing some sort of nostalgia box crate thing, especially in the geek community, up here it might be a good thing to try one of myself. This is what they call the 90s box. It's a 90s nostalgia box, I guess, filled with clothing and toys and foodstuffs of all the various wonders of the 90s from which I hailed. It's good because I'm very much a 90s kid, both in temperament and, and mood and all that stuff. Uh, born in 1990, of course, so just. But there's a little bit of the 80s nostalgia in there, but really, 90s is where it's at as far as I'm concerned, so let's see what we have. A mug there and some bubble wrap. A, a slinky. A plastic wrap. Major spring. Yeah, a rainbow slinky. Kind of nice plastic one, sort of thing you find, you find in the crane machine back in the day. Yeah, that's acceptable. Walk Rainbow Spring downstairs, play with Rainbow Spring in hands, walk Rainbow Spring down incline or slope, bounce Rainbow Spring up or down. Yep, that's pretty much what you can do with a Slinky. Or Rainbow Spring, I guess. And what's next? What's next here? Aha! Fruit. Uh, fruit Stripes. Everybody in the dining use knew this stuff. This was in all the gas stations, all the drug stores. Great little thing. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is not, this is not actual gum back in the day. They make it clear that the food they use is repackaged food or the newer edition of food that was also very popular in the 90s. So yeah. Hi, you know what? Honestly, I don't remember ever really eating this stuff all much back when I was younger. And it was, it was always there. You'd, you'd see this stuff ever because the packages were so colorful. But yeah, I, gum is good. I like juicy fruit. Juicy fruit flavored gum, so yeah, that could be kind of kind of nice. What do we what do we have here? A little. Okay, this is just cheating. This is a this is not nineties in the least. This is modern day. You disappoint me, nostalgia box. Very very bad. See, this is a Kawaii Cube's Wish Factory, the Flash series one, kind of like a. This is like a plush equivalent of those Funko Pop things. I mean, seriously, I mean, I'm, I'm not necessarily against Funko Pops. I mean, I have a couple of handball based ones, but seriously, how is this 90s? I mean, it's not even close to the 90s design with the Flash look like back in like the Justice League cartoon or their. Yeah, this is not 90s in the least. I don't get this. Were you just trying to fill all the space or something? I mean, there's gotta be more stuff you could use. Sheesh. That's too bad. Oh, what's this? Another food stuff thing? Aha, of course. The yeah, gummy burgers. Yeah, once again, you, you see these in gas stations all the time. And again, I never really bought them because they didn't really look like my thing, but gummies are good. Candy, always nice. What do we have here? Ooh, this Mars mud. Ooh, this looks like this could be some sort of like a tactile thing. Tactile toy thing. Let me just see if I can run this open for a bit. Excuse the back screen. Oh, and we're back. Oh yeah, this comes kind of, kind of a gooey, a flarp sort of thing. Again, yeah. Again, this isn't, this isn't a strictly 90s sort of device, object or device, but it was popular then, and it's still popular now. It could be very, very useful, just as a way of just finding something to mess with your hands, could be a fidget sort of thing. My clients could be, might find this kind of fun. Cool. Let me draw it to them. So what else do we have inside this, is this box of mystical wonder? A pen. It's not just any pen, it's a Yurtle the Turtle a Dr. Seuss pen. Ah, Yurtle, Yurtle the, Tur the Turtle. It's one of those Seuss stories that I remember seeing a lot, but I can't remember much details about that Dr. Seuss story, really. I much prefer it as a, the you know, Ken, Ken Hats or even the darker ones like the Butter Battle book or or the Lorax. Those are the Dr. Seuss stories I liked, but hey, yeah, is it pen? Pen's useful. It can, cause it, does it still write? Yes, it does. Yes, it does still write. And of course, it has a nice little. I can still flick it between my fingers, and I can still. 
I know a lot of people buy Quickness by Boris from Goldeneye, so yep, does all the sort of things you can you want to do. Hmm. Ooh, there's some stuff on the bottom there, but I guess with the t-shirt. T-shirts is one of the big selling selling points of these things, so what what are they selling here? Alright, this isn't a t-shirt, this is a a a Tupac Thug Life produce bag. Huh. That's different, unexpected, appropriate, appropriate for the for the nineties, I guess. Is, is this actually vintage? I can't seem to find any any price tag on this. I mean, I mean cer certainly, certainly looks age. Although we can we can do that artificially these days, but now that it has has no speckled dirt and stuff on it, I think. The, I think this is an actual thing from the time. A, a, a Tupac Thug Life produce bag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I've never been that big into hip hop myself. I mean, I'm far too white for that. But yeah, I, but this is kind of cool. I, I like this. I, I actually like this a lot. I might, might use this as to carry stuff around to work and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really cool. That's unexpected and very cool. That's the sort of thing I, I like to see from these things. Good work down these box. Ooh, oh, not the big bubble wrapping. This is a glass of some sort. That's what it seems. Ooh, double wrap. Ooh, excuse the sound. What do we have here? Oh, come on! You are you are kidding me? It's a Trolls glass, a big troll like um, unique, rad. Yeah, yep, that's <laughs> this is very 90s, very with those words and these trolls. I mean, I mean <laughs> really, I mean, I, I'm, at, I'm at a loss for words, really. I mean, a troll glass, and yeah, well. I guess it can be useful. You can use to hold drinks and stuff. So, but yeah, it's just bizarre. I mean, even back in the day, I would have looked at this. Even back in the day, I would have looked at this and think, "Why?" I mean, I mean, is it was this is it officially licensed thing? Is it uh, ZachDesigns.com? Zach, I uh, no, this not even an officially licensed thing. copyright 2015. So. I have, so whoever does the Zach Industries guy, yeah, I have no idea what's going through your mind, man. But who? Just frankly bizarre thing to find in this box of bizarre things. And now, oh, going back to the Dr. Seuss thing. Is this a uh, little miniature book, or is it a next the book? Once again, cop. Copyright 2015, so they're cheating a bit. So, yeah, now just a little notebook. Hey, that's useful. I always like to have little notebooks to carry on and jot stuff down, uh, doodle a little bit. So yeah, yeah, that's a neat little thing. And once again, only tangentially 90s related because because it uses because of course Doctor Seuss was really big in the animated specials and stuff like that in the 90s. But this is actually copyright 2015. Like this is copyright 2015, and uh, and the, and this and this stupid thing is uh, is copyright. I think this should be even yeah 2016. I mean seriously, what is this? Why put this in the box? And so, but so, but it's uh, but there are some useful things in there and some fun things. I guess the. It looks like the only real, reliably uh, not 90s things were the uh, were the rainbow slinky and this uh, and the Thug Life grocery bag. And yeah, those are pretty nice things. I mean, I mean, the, the glass, glass can be useful for the drinking stuff and the gum and the flarp and the and the pen are all very useful things. But yeah, so 
I've, I've got to say, based on this first 90s nostalgia box, not entirely impressed though, either from a, either from a uh, stuff point of view or from a 90s point of view. I have a three month subscription for this thing going on, but so, so hopefully the n next time it'll be a little bit better. But still, it's an interesting start. We'll love to see what the future brings.